Hello everyone and welcome to The First Tree. This is, I am so excited, this is a game that I have been following for well over a year and have been waiting to play. It comes out today, September 14th, uh, for Windows and Mac on Steam. I think it's only $8, so go check it out. And the developer, who is only one person, uh, was kind enough to send me a, a key for the game uh, so that I could play it. I'm playing it a day before uh, I'm posting it on YouTube. So obviously you can see it has foxes, which is what, you know, piqued my interest. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and check out the game. And I think it's actually, we might even finish it today. I think it's a pretty short game. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm excited. I've waited so long for this. So let's start a new game. I like the little paw prints already. This is giving me like long dark meets shelter and pause vibes already, which I love. Oh, and the developers from Utah too, which is cool. Oh, can I play as you? I can play as you. I am the Are fox. You awake? I thought I heard you get up. Okay. Yeah, I'm awake. Sorry, I just can't sleep. Are you thinking about about him? Who's talking? Yeah, a bit. You should get back to sleep, my love. I'm fine. No, no, it's okay. What else is on your mind? <sighs> I don't know, it seems weird, but I had one of the most vivid dreams of my life. I saw a fox on a snowy mountain. That's me. Just looking confused and worried. Oh, I'm, those yes, eyes. worried. I can't get those eyes out of my head. Mm -hmm. She was running in the windy snow, looking for something. What am I looking for? Do you for? think it has to do with, with you and what's been going on? I don't know. It was just a dream, Rachel. They're not meant to make sense. A lot's happened the past couple days, that's all. Well, if you're not going to sleep anyway, you should tell me. I want to hear. Oh, I can jump over this. <gasps> I don't know if I wanted to do that. Okay, so that was my fox den. It's an interesting game already because I think that there's this other story that's happening. That's the conversation that we're, ha we're hearing. And so this is actually, I think, a dream. Um, so we're looking for something. I think we're looking for our cubs. Uh, I'm going to follow. I think I'm going to follow the sun. Okay, so that's the sun is rising that way. So if we need to go back to our den at any point, we should be able to find over the log, over the log. Let's come up here. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, I think that's just a tree. <laughs> that's just a tree. There's something up here. Let's find out what it is. Oh, no. No! So, not far from her home, she followed that path to something unexpected. My baby! Is it... It's not... The birds were there. No, 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 no. Can I help it? Is it dead? No. This is a sad game. No. I don't think I can help it. Am I? Have I done every control that I can do? I don't want to leave my baby. Oh my gosh, no. This is, I didn't think this was going to be a sad game so soon. I knew it was kind of a sad game, but this is... No. What happened? She couldn't stay, though. She had to find her other two children. I have two more? So she took that path. She followed it towards something ancient. Something with answers. Oh, there's more birds. 
No, tell me that all of my babies didn't just die. All right, it's gonna be okay. The fox looked high and low, searching for any sign of her cubs. Points of light showed the way to this ancient tree. It was as if each one had a story to tell, all their own. The land was trying to tell my story, too. Oh, we got a point. I felt like I was right behind her the whole time. We're collecting these things of light. I'm not exactly sure why. But there's all these birds circling. I'm very nervous that it's not going to be a... Oh, oh, wait, who are you? There's a, a bunny? Bunnies? Can I kill them? Die. Die. I want revenge. You didn't kill my baby. It's okay. I don't think I need to eat. There's a bird shadow over there. Oh, it's above me now. Oh, there's light over there, too. Oh, there's something over here. I'm going to come this way. I'm not sure if this is the way I should be going right now. But this looks interesting over here. And it's like the, the bunnies were a sign that I should head over this way. I just want to find at least one of my cubs alive. What is this? It went away. Oh, I can dig? As a kid, did you ever do show and tell in your class? Dig, yeah, dig more. I think I only did it once, when I was in the fourth grade. You know how my life was around then. I wanted to show my class what helped pass the time and distracted me, so I brought a dozen paper cranes I had made. I think I told everyone how badly I wanted to be a bird and fly, embarrassingly enough. Don't be embarrassed. Every kid wants to fly. For me, it was another toy for my dad. A wooden boat. Oh, that's it? That's a boat. I remember guarding it so carefully in my hands as I walked into class. When I sat down, a group of boys immediately made fun of it. They asked which trash can I found it in, or why an ugly log was my favorite toy. When I got up, I didn't even want to tell them my dad had carved it. I said it was a joke gift my friends had given me. Kids can be so cruel. Some of them are. I shouldn't have let them get to me, but it did. It's amazing we bounce back at all. Okay, that was sad. <laughs> so we found... We found an artifact from the narrator's childhood. But it didn't give us any clues, I don't think. Hello, bunnies. I'm gonna kill you. Arr. Okay, you deserve to live. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, there's another one. There's another, I think that must be another artifact, but I don't know if I need it. What are these? Oh, <laughs> hiding rabbits. No, I need to find my cubs. All right, let's, let's get there faster. Try a few jumps. I wasn't supposed to bring the boat with me, was I? I don't think you could pick it up, but I'll see what this one is. I think I have to dig again. Okay, digging. Do you remember what my dad did for a living? Was it a train. Like a lumberjack? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. If wood was a canvas, then a carving knife was his paintbrush. Joseph. It says Joseph on the bottom. Even after a 50-hour week, even after his hands were more splinters than skin, he would bring home the nicest piece of Alaskan weeping cedar and make me toys. That wooden train was the first toy I can remember, and I loved it. I just knew from a young age I was going to be a lumberjack, like my father. <sighs> okay... Oh, look how beautiful this is. All right, we're gonna come this way where all the birds are circling, but that, 
that frightens me because the last time the birds were circling, it was not good news. There's something over there. I think that's probably the direction. Oh, there's another artifact over there. Oh, wait. Is there something on? There's light over there, too. Huh. And there's birds circling. Well, kind of all around, really. I think I'm going to head to that light over there because I don't know exactly what that would be. I know what the artifacts look like, but I don't know. Oh, oh, the light extends that way. Mm, it's going to lead us up that way instead of. Okay. Let's do it. Is it getting dark too? Some kind of little lean to. Is it a campsite? It's like corrugated metal, just like I have in my cabin. What is this stuff? Someone's been eating here? Huh. Okay, I actually don't know what that was, but I'm gonna come, ooh, which way should I go? Oh, look at my footprints. I'm gonna come up around here, I think. I thought I saw something at the base. Oh yeah, here it is, here it is. What is this? Oh, it's like a cardboard box that you play in. Okay, have my paws always been doing this or is this new? Was I just not paying attention before? Was I always leaving this magical trail? It's a pretty good view. Oh, oh, I just passed it. The older I got, the more I withdrew. I asked myself, why talk to anybody anyway? Why bother when I'm happy by myself? I started drawing a lot. Mostly animals I saw in the woods by my home. I then imagined designing my own hideouts with things like TVs and pantries full of chips and cookies. I think that idea of leaving home and drawing blueprints started my career. I found a lot of solace in that. I'm not surprised, but I did the same thing, you know? There's something special about having a place to call your own. And now look at us. Well, if you count renting in an overpriced city. <laughs> it's as close as we can get for now. Okay, let's head back, I think, to over there. Yeah. So let's jump off this. I guess let's just jump off this boulder. I'm not sure. Maybe this is the way I was supposed to have gone. And I went the wrong way. Okay, big jump. All right. So I'm going to have to... I don't know if I can do this. I'm gonna mess it up probably. Mm, I messed it up! <laughs> oh no! Oh, okay, I missed that one. I don't think, I don't, oh, a swing! We found a swing with a baseball cap with a, a duck on it. Okay, so the dreamer, I'll call, oh hi bunnies. I'll call him the dreamer. He is telling, I think his, either his girlfriend or his wife, Rachel, about his childhood, specifically parts about his dad, but then also that he was quite sort of withdrawn, I guess, as a kid, in terms of not having a lot of like friends, I think. Is there anything over here? I thought, I think it was just the light. Um, oh, there's another artifact up there, but I think I'm gonna head this way first. Because I'm not sure if this was an artifact that I saw. Or maybe that was what I saw from up there. Let's just get over this little hill. I'm super scared that, like, somewhere in one of these little bushes, one of my cubs is... Like, I've missed a cub somehow. But I like this game so far because it's, you know, I always like open world exploration games. Okay, there's a lot of circling over here. It's making me nervous. Oh, is that... It's not like a okay that's unexpected <laughs> that's an army tank or some no what is 
Yeah. What is that? Some kind of military vehicle, which I did not expect to find out here at all. Okay, let's... Maybe this clue has something to do with it. Let's dig here. Usually those kids would leave me alone, but somehow they could tell I was different. They made fun of how far away I lived. They called my dad a sourdough. I was a blabbermouth as a kid, telling my dad stories I made up for hours. But after that show and tell, I didn't tell him much anymore. He didn't know exactly what was wrong, but his best guess was that the toys he carved weren't cool enough. He carved me a tank and tried to tell me what it was like to be in a real tank as a serviceman. I didn't know your dad was in the military. Yeah, in the army. The sad thing is that I'd pretty much forgotten until just now. There's so much I still don't know about him. I'm sorry. He knows how much you love him. You're going to see him again soon and have some closure, I'm sure. I'm sad. Can I come up this? No. I'm in it. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. I, I feel from the graphics that I'm not supposed to be doing this. Oh no. Get out. Get out. What have I done? Get out. You can do it. You can do it. Get out. No, why did I do it? Jump. Oh no. I've trapped myself in the barrel of the tank. I'm so dumb. I am, I really, I really am. Dig out. Dig out. Oh no. I thought it was a nice little tunnel that I could go in. Oh, uh, I can't get out. Oh, wait, I'm out! I'm out! Oh, okay. I'm... I'm a silly, silly person. I'm a curious fox. What can I say? So, this is, this is kind of a sad story because I think that, you know, his dad sounds like possibly... Either they're estranged, or he's sick, um, or he's left somewhere. I don't know what she meant by, you'll see him again to get closure. But that's, that's heartbreaking about, you know, having, thinking that his toys that he was carving weren't cool enough. But I'm still really curious how this relates to my cubs. I haven't seen one in a while except for, sadly, the one that was deceased. <gasps> oh, I think we've gotten to a new area. Whoa! This is... Is this a new season? Or did we just leave the winter area behind? Cubs? No! No! There's another artifact here. Butterflies! And light up there. Okay, what's here? My teenage years were full of sketching, angst, and trouble. I wasn't popular or unpopular. Maybe just forgettable. I guess that gave me a sense of freedom. So I hung out with crazy Waterfall. kids, doing crazy things, even though I mostly just watched the chaos ensue. We did it all. Put fireworks in mailboxes, hide roadkill in people's garages, break windows of the barber shop in Anchorage. My dad was furious, but he was so here? busy working he couldn't do much to stop me from going out. I think being an adult means there's no one to stop you making hard decisions. For fireworks. He had to make a living, and he couldn't be in two places at once. <gasps> I fell! Yeah, I fell! I realize that now. But at the time, I was sure he was more interested in growing his business than what was going on with me. Alright. Jump. Let's see if I can do it this time. Go. Oh, I didn't do the double jump. Perhaps. 
Uh oh. It's a police car. He was working another late night, and my friends were over, saying how bored they were and how they had come all the way out to my house for nothing. One of them mentioned how that old, ugly beyond belief truck was still in the garage and how we should take it for a spin. I was only 15, so I kind of fought it for a while. The next thing I knew, we were craning around the mountain path, rocks spitting onto the sides of the cliff, while my dad's cringeworthy bluegrass blared out the speakers. I drove while my friends were in the back of that yellow and purple truck, throwing beer bottles and trash at anything remotely interesting. It felt like I was soaring in the air with borrowed wings. But all good things have endings. A cop outside of Eagle River pulled us over after he saw us in a bottle rocket into someone's yard. What followed was a long night of talking to disappointed adults and feeling smaller than ever. Okay, I found these purple butterflies. Oh, they're following me now. Or they were. Wait, what was that meant to do? Does that give me the ability to fly? I can jump? The butterflies have to somehow get me to this ledge, I think. But when I jump, they go away. Now what if I walk with the butterflies down here and I use my big jump for when I'm over here? Right now? Yes! Yes, we did it! Kind of! Oh no! We're stuck! Oh no, no, no! Make it! Make it! Make it! <laughs> Make it! Oh! Okay. I. This is a beautiful game, and I'm the one that's like doing everything wrong, like going up the tank uh, the wrong way and falling. Um, okay. We're gonna do it this time. I'm gonna just keep jumping. Uh, so let's get this gust of wind and leaves with our butterflies. And then, okay, we made it. All right, we're up here now. There we go. Ooh, that was masterful. I'm becoming really good at being a fox. I, I would like to be a fox, to be honest. I think they're so beautiful. They're one of my favorite animals for sure. And they're so fast. It's really sad because they don't actually live that long in the wild. Um, I think they only live, I think it's like less than six years. It's like three to four years. Oh, oh, we have a bunch of, of light clusters here. And butterflies. And a whole new area. Oh, that looks like kind of a scary land over there. I think there's something right down here. Oh, no. Okay. We're good. We're good. Um, yeah, there's something over here, I think. Oh, maybe behind the waterfall. There's butterflies over there. Ooh, okay. There's more purple butterflies. There's a car over there. The purple car. Okay, let's not jump then. Oh, oh, another memory. Another artifact. Let's come over here and get that. All right, can I dig the artifact? Will I lose the butterflies? After he drove me home from the police station, I blew up at him, saying how I never wanted to be like him, how I was going to be someone and leave that hick icebox for good. He just looked forward at the road with tired eyes. I took out that bluegrass tape from the cassette deck and chucked it out the window. In my sage teenage wisdom, I thought I had proved the ultimate point, but my dad had a different idea. He slammed the brakes slowly bowed his head while gripping the steering wheel and finally looked at me. All he said, like it was a polite request, was, make this right. I sat there in silence, fuming, but I eventually got out and combed every square inch of the woods, muttering profanity after profanity. I found it 30 minutes later, near a small waterfall off the road. I went back to the truck, Put the wet tape back in, and sure enough it worked. 
We didn't speak another word to each other the rest of the night. Wow, I knew you were a crazy teenager, but... It's hard to believe, isn't it? It surprises me, too. It's like I didn't really know who that kid was back then. I bet my dad thought the same thing over and over. It's almost like he was saying, make this right to himself more than to me. Okay, so... I have the purple butterflies. I can use them to jump up there. But there were also, there was that car that I saw, and I didn't know if I needed to get to it. There's also light here underneath this rock that I didn't get. So let's come over here. Ooh, that's cool. So where did I see that car? There! But I don't think that there's any way to get up to it, even with my butterflies. I don't think you can make that jump. That seems... But maybe if you come around this way? No, I failed. I utterly failed. Alright. Well, where do I jump to? I got the butterflies! I'm in the waterfall! I'm behind the waterfall. Oh no. Oh no. I've done it again. I've done it again. Where am I supposed to go? Let's come up here. We're gonna need the butterflies to go to that new area. For sure. There's gotta be a way. If you play the game, I encourage you guys to play it and see if you can get up to that that purple car because I know there's definitely a way but in the interest of finding my cubs I'm going to come over here because I think that these butterflies will give me enough of a jump boost hopefully to be able to make it up this rock okay we're gonna try to make it onto this rock yes oh 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 so close we did it we did it oh okay just come over to the edge and get this Ah, oh, we did it, but now this looks like kind of the, I don't know, this area looks like it could be kind of a, a shadowy area. I don't know if those are geysers or not, or if we're going to get a new kind of atmosphere. Like, there's no grass beyond that part, which makes me curious. If there was some way I could take my love of drawing and turn it Aww. into a way of escape. Nothing would make me happier. I wanted to create instead of tearing trees down. I wanted to move to the Pretty. lower 48, not because I hated it there in Alaska, but I hated the idea of it. It's like all of that spite inside me had created this monster which followed me around my whole teenage years. I put so much energy into doing what others didn't expect of me. Why did I do that? There's one fact you're forgetting, though. If you didn't have that fire in you, we probably would have never met. You're absolutely right. Maybe the destination is all that matters in the end. But then why am I awake? Why am I seeing this fox go on her journey? And why can't I stop thinking about my dad? Oh, oh. New area. Completely new area. <gasps> Is that the tree? Let's run to it. I didn't find any of my other cubs. Are they going to be waiting for me at the tree? Okay, it looks like we have another memory as well. Oh, but what's that behind there? Even at my most distant, at the times when I detested the him night. the most, he kept reaching out. For a year straight, he asked me every week when we were going camping. I thought he was just dense. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. We carried out the worn lawn chairs from the garage and set up a cinder block campfire at the site we'd always used behind the house. 
We walked down the mountain path, talking in the warm sunshine we only got a couple months of the year. Those three obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet, or how those massive mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. I felt small, but grateful. As the sun set, my dad found something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd made my first carving when I was six. I hadn't even carved it. My dad had helped me, but I still called it my tree. Something about seeing my name there made me open up, and we talked about everything that night in that old camouflage tent. I told him how much I loved sketching and design, and how it would be a dream to study architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore, but that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk, he would have left me carved logs with novels on them in front of my room every morning. I don't know why it took me that long to realize it, but it was then I knew how much he had sacrificed for me. Okay, so I think that this is... He mentioned three obsidian rocks. And... See the little light? I guess when it's in the rock, I'm supposed to go crouch down. So I'm gonna do that. Where'd it go? Oh wait, there it is. I got it! It didn't do anything, but I'm assuming that we need to go through those thorns. And it did mention three obsidian rocks. So maybe... Maybe we have to find two more. Oh, we've got some stuff over here. did good we're up to 36 that's impressive um okay let's oh what do we have here some drawings oh that looks like um kind of like an architecture sketch like a render uh oh we've got a memory over here let's come check it out On our property, there were old abandoned pieces of a shed and car long left unused. I used to ask him all the time who those people were that left all this junk, and I'm sure he got so tired of hearing it that he made up some elaborate stories how a brown bear ate them and haunted the woods afterwards. What's funny is I think it made those people seem more real, growing up thinking they were still hanging out like they couldn't say goodbye. I used to tell my friends how I could swear I saw spirits move near the water, and that always freaked them out. I guess it didn't bother me, okay, because the way I saw it, they were normal people with old cars and sheds, just trying to figure out how to survive and be happy in the middle of nowhere. It was a cool thought that they didn't want to leave, but you know, I was a weird kid. Well... You had good company since those ghosts like living in a place where they were brutally devoured. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. Oh, there's a light over there. Oh. Oh no, that's one of the obsidian rocks. Okay, it's on top of... Oh gosh. This looks like parkour. That's okay. I've been getting... I feel like progressively better at the jumping. What is this pretty music? To accompany my jumping? All right, let's do this. Okay. We actually did it. <laughs> I'm gonna come and collect these pieces over here. I don't know why, I am at 38. Don't fall off, Stacey, don't fall off. Um, I guess I'm paranoid that <laughs> At the end, it's going to be like, 
you know, I don't know, some fairy will come out and be like, to buy back your baby, we must have 50 lights. And I'll be like, I only have 38. Um, oh, it's up that way. Oh gosh. Ooh. Make it! Okay. Good, we made it. Okay, this is another one of the obsidian pieces! Um, alright, so then just... Oh, jump up on it. Jump up on it, Stace. Down. Oh, I messed up. There we go. Alright, it turned white. Okay. Oh, it looks like there's a campsite over there, like the sleeping bag and the tent. But I don't think there wasn't a memory. Where have we not been? Not sure. Let's keep looking. Oh. Oh, what is this? We've got some light here. I hear water. Okay, so there's the tree with the thorns again. We have not gone this way. Oh, there's a memory right there. Okay. My dad built a lot of stuff in his free time. If he wasn't watching fly fishing or reading Tom Clancy novels, he was carving something. He made tons of birdhouses. Not that he was into bird watching, but I think he really missed working and adding on to the home. If he couldn't afford the time to build onto her own house, he would have to settle with watching birds move into their little homes. We kept an old mattress in the bed of that ugly yellow truck, so we would drive it deep into the woods and then watch the birds fly into their houses while the sun set. Usually it was accompanied by venison jerky or a cold coke, but not a lot of talking, which is how we both liked it. Okay, there's another artifact over here. I don't think... Is there anything else in this valley that I missed? I don't think so. Oh, can I get up there? Or am I going to need butterflies? I think I can get up it this way, maybe? Hello, pretty purple tree. It's nice to meet you. You're pretty. Let's see. If I come around this way, is it going to let me keep jumping? Yeah, I can get to it this way. We were happiest underneath the evergreens. It's a map. We decided it was time to finally map out the hundreds of acres we lived on just to pass the time during the summer. But where do I go He now? was only free in the evenings, so I would spend the day wasting time on dial-up internet and sketching, and then we would rush into the woods, pen and map in hand, before evening fell. <gasps> Sometimes, the aurora borealis would cast a cold green glow on the mountainside and we would finish our route underneath a twilight sky. Sometimes I was lonely during those summer days, but there was comfort in the routine. A lot of teenagers aren't looking for the daily grind, though. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get out, to leave your childhood home. You wanted to progress, to make something of yourself. Yeah, you're right. That house. I'm sure it's the same as how I left it. Then why does it feel so different? I doubt you're the only adult to have looked back and asked that question. Oh. I think we found a new area. Ooh, this is pretty in here. And creepy. I think I want to go to that, but do I go by way of this? I think I want to go to where all those particles are. This is the, um, the obsidian rock thing. It almost kind of reminds me a little bit of Abzu, I guess, even though I'm a fox. Um, but kind of like how I sat on those rocks and meditated in Abzu. I don't know. If you guys didn't watch Abzu, 
Maybe I'll leave a link for it in the description, because, I don't know, this game's kind of giving me relaxing Abzu feels, except for the dead fox at the beginning, which I'm still not over. Can I jump up here? Mm, no. Where am I going? Is this just out of the cave? Hmm. Oh, hello, little... Hello, little light. Oh, can I go through here? Okay. I'm just collecting, collecting my light. Jump up. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's over here. I don't know. Do I want to keep jumping up? Uh oh! Obsidian rock. We found the third one. Okay, hold on. There, we got it. I bet that noise was the sound of the thorns breaking. How do I get out of here? I bet you anything it was. So I need to... How do I get out of here? <laughs> I need to go back to the thorns. Because uh, I bet I can go through them now. I love jumping through the purple trees. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just... um. It's something that I'm into lately. So I'm just making my way back through the forest to the thorn area that was by the tree with the Joseph carved um, into it. Don't carve on trees, kids, by the way. I think, is that it over there? Yep, oh, okay, yeah, that way is totally open now. That was not before. Listen, I just wanna say my cubs are in so much trouble if they're alive because this has been far. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's about the cubs. I think it's about, oh. There's another animal there. What is that? Is that a wolf? Um. I'm gonna get some of these. Oh, look at this. I'm running in between the roots. I'm gonna get some of this light. Oops, can't go in between that one. I don't know how I, how I get these ones. These ones are hard. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got it. Um, yeah. I feel like that's a wolf that probably killed another one of my cubs because, you know, why not? Um, oh, this is fun. Uh, okay, I got it. Let's go. Oh, I don't want to do this. Why? The traitor stood nearby, unfazed, like nothing was wrong. My dad is dead, and he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell you these stories. I can never reminisce with him again. <gasps> I can never hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry for everything. Was his dad killed? Okay, I... You're meanie! No, come back here! Oh my gosh, where'd he go? This is very steep. Okay. We're gonna follow the light. Oh, I missed that one. There we go. Maybe... Maybe I can save the last of my cubs? Maybe it's still alive? I keep missing the timing of these jumps. Oh, come on! <laughs> Whoa.
like this dream. What is it? Is it a letter? I can't really see. What do you mean, good night? She still hasn't found her third cub. What if it's alive? Well, this means he's dreaming again, though. So maybe this is, this is new? Like this is part of the dream that hadn't happened yet? Oh, it's a transition. <gasps> this is so pretty. Joseph, you can't go to sleep feeling like this. I'm sorry for everything and I know you need space, but I'm here for you. You don't need to feel so lost. Do I go towards one of the stars? Joseph, have I ever told you what my mother was like? <gasps> oh, a deer? No, what was your mother like? Was she like a doe? me was watching the birds in the morning before the school bus came. <laughs> I thought that my mother was one of those birds, and it made me want to be free like her. My mom taught me how to fold origami cranes while she was in the hospital, so I told myself I would fold one every day until I could fly myself. We both have always loved animals, and for me that love started with a dog. Sometimes this Rottweiler would come up to our property line and wait at the fence for me, but only once in a while. I was sure to check every day immediately after school, and it usually ended in disappointment. I would even steal money from my passed out dad just so I could buy these off-brand dog biscuits. Even when she did stop by, she never went beyond the fence. Why was she so scared? I think my dad was the opposite of your dad in almost every way. Except he was in the military as well. He coped with alcohol of every kind. The trailer started falling apart, he got angry, and I withdrew. More and more I became the weird, quiet kid who made lots of work on me birds and carried dog biscuits around. I think we were pretty similar when it came to being the weird kids. And that same sincerity in college was one of the reasons I was so drawn to you. Come back, dear. Life got worse and worse. And at one point, I really didn't think I could survive another day with my soul still intact. I had no real friends, let alone neighbors, since we lived in the middle of nowhere. I should have talked to my teacher, but I was scared what he would do if he found out. As I waited for the school bus one morning, I walked around until I found something in an abandoned shed. Something I can't put into words. 
I summoned courage I didn't know I had, and I broke into my dad's room and found the key to the shed where he had locked my bike. I'll never forget that feeling. It was the wind rushing by my ears as the sun rose over fields of wheat. I was flying for the first time. I biked as far as my legs could take me until I found a house that felt friendly and that felt like home. Those strangers helped me in so many ways. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have found my foster family. And if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't have met you. You have strength, Joseph, and you're not as alone as you think. It's all just so pointless, just waiting for life to happen. It's like having the home I always wanted is cursed out of my reach. The thought of being a parent myself, how could I do that when I couldn't even be a good son? I'm sorry, I know what you're saying. I just don't know how things will work out. These quiet hours will turn into years. We'll wonder which roads passed us by. Then we'll forge a new road, together. Besides, I discovered for myself that one fateful morning where any hopeful road leads to. There may be thorns and mist, but it always leads to the same thing. And what's that? Family. I'm so glad that you're part of my family, Rachel. And I'm glad you're part of mine. Okay, well, this is my favorite place in the game so far. It's really beautiful. So it looks like I can... Oh, look at the little sun glints. I can parkour my way up this. Oh, great. This is going to be a challenge. If I don't get my family at the end of this, I'm, I'm going to be very, very sad. Um, okay. See here. Okay. Nope, nope, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is tricky. There we go. And over. Okay. Okay. So far so good. So far, so great. We can take in the view when we're for sure at the top, which is now. Oh, <sighs> Where are we going, though? I don't think one of my cubs could have made it this far. But I have hope, because since it is a dream, anything's possible. She could still be alive. Oh, this doesn't look promising. This the looks fox sad. The last cub would be waiting for her at the first tree. Yeah? She was almost there. Run! The rain cascaded the into the jade valley where the entrance to the tree was. Ooh. Life was protected there. 
Do because I want to that's jump? where life began. It was now only a mother and a daughter left. Items from my life still dotted the ground as she moved closer to her destination. And destiny. She's alive! Good. I have to say, I'm shocked actually though that this was developed by one person. This is so beautiful. And I just hope that I'm close to the first tree. I don't know if it's at the house. There's orbs over there. But maybe we should go to the house. Is it a house? What's that big... A big smokestack on the front top of it. Maybe it's like a mill. Maybe it's like a lumber mill. Oh, a memory! My dad was super supportive with my college plans. To a point. Things were okay until this terrible accident happened. I guess a forklift flipped over due to a bad axle and it crushed one of the workers there. My dad didn't eat for days. Even though he wasn't directly involved, it devastated him. Not only did it hurt the business, but it just freaked him out. He would talk in his sleep, muttering things about firing people and saying sorry. One fateful day he approached me, said that since my school search wasn't going well, I should finally be a man and take over the family business. He said one day he was going to die and that all of his work, sacrifice, and even that man's life would be wasted in vain. I just lost it. Teenage me just exploded at the thought. I screwed up. I said things I shouldn't have. He was having a crisis and I pretty much spit in his face. Okay, some kind of saw. Look at all these cut down logs. Milk toast distracted me from what just happened. His dad was going through a hard time. Oh, here's the house. Oh, we found it. Hello? Oh. I can't interact with it. I don't think I can go in it. Let's see if we can go behind it. We're on the roof. Sometimes these rocks you can climb on. Let's try. No. Oh, wait. Yes, yes, we can go up this way. But what is over here? I'm going up this mountain because it's going to let me. So, you better believe we're doing it. We can always go back. Like, we didn't see that over there, did we? That's a memory. That's a memory over there that we haven't gotten to. Where did we come from? Oh, that way. Oh, I'm falling. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, yep. Okay. All right. Let's go over this way then. What is this memory? Was that the last time you talked to him? No, I called on holidays. And he would call on my birthday. I guess we acted like nothing ever happened, which was stupid. Didn't want to ask about his lumber yard, and I'm sure he didn't want to ask about my job search. I never went back and visited. 
I think the last conversation we had was about what movies we had seen and what exactly a best boy is in the credits. I thought he would be here so much longer. did the only thing she was capable of. Moving forward. My dad died alone in the middle of the wilderness. I should have been talking to him more. I should have done a lot of things differently. If the first tree on earth brought life with it, if it taught the birds to sing and fly and showed saplings how to grow, what could it do for us? walk to it. I'm... I'm so sad. I thought that the last cub was going to be alive. They said she was alive. There was a letter I received yesterday from a name I didn't recognize with a quote I can't stop thinking about. Death is not the opposite of life, but a part of it. More and more, I'm realizing one important truth. Each of us have our own journey to the first tree. But sometimes, I'm not sure I'm ready to take that first step. You already have my love. Did I go the wrong way? That does not look like the right way. I literally went the wrong way. Can I walk on the tree this way? And walk over it? Yes, okay. I do not want to fall down there, I don't think. What's gonna be here? <gasps> What's happening? The first tree awakens and gently asks if there's one last message the fox wants to tell her children. I love you. I have 81 characters. Is that because I... I will always love you. Even though we're not together anymore. What? I guess her journey was over, but I have no idea. It's only a dream, a distraction from tomorrow. I don't think dreams normally bring back to memory so many important feelings. Maybe it was just a dream, but it was also a gift. Yeah, I suppose. But tomorrow we're getting on a plane to the last place on Earth I want to be. 
The only person that would have made the trip worth it is gone. You're going to see him and be with him one last time before you say goodbye. I have one last quote for you by Emerson, sealed in an imaginary letter from me to you. It is the secret of the world that all things subsist and do not die, but only retire a little from sight and afterward return again. Go to sleep, my love. We have a big day tomorrow, but I'll be there with you every step of the way. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Good night, Rachel. Good night, Joseph. Okay, I don't know if the lighting is different, but I had to actually clear more room on my computer. Six months later, later than the dream, I'm in a house. Am I a human now? What? Can I move? Oh, I'm moving. What? I'm... I'm, oh, I'm traveling. I'm on the trip that he was talking about. Oh, I'm in... Am I in... All oh, the garbage. I'm not in one of the houses. I'm in the area, though. Oh, hello. Are you alive? Um... I... Outdoor junk. I think I'm packing up maybe my dad's place. Um, hi, do you want to... Okay. Okay. Can I click on you? No. What in the world? Can I go outside here? <gasps> Phone. <gasps> that door! No, we know that... The lace curtains! This is that house! Oh... The knife? The boat! Oh my gosh, it's all the stuff. What's in here? Huh. Can I see myself? I can't see my reflection. Whoa, okay. The kitchen. Architecture prints. Oh my gosh. There's a little fire still burning. Oh, I bet those are real pictures of the developer's father in the military. Sounds awfully windy outside. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for if I'm just seeing all of the objects that I've been seeing in my dream. Which makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Puffies and bricks. Is that a heart-shaped pan? I want a heart-shaped pan. I've never seen a heart-shaped pan. Alright, what's in here? Oh gosh, just like a little closet. And then what's in here? Oh. A baby's room. We're painting it pink. Can I go outside? Are we moving in?
Got a garage. <gasps> the car! It's here! The car that I couldn't get to! Oh my goodness. Everything is here. Everything. Look how beautiful. It is so beautiful. We're here in Alaska at the house. The house that we wanted to escape from. But I think we're home. Huh. The swing. Hmm. I can jump. That's good to know. What happens? I'm curious now. What happens if I come out here? Oh, a ladder that's tipped over with a birdhouse. That's so sad. He's coming back to his dad's house after he's gone. Oh, here's the mailbox. No trespassers. Oh, I can't get out this way, can I? No. Oh, what's down this way? Is that, is there like a little fire pit down here? The campsite. The old tent. We're going in the tent. We're in the tent. Follow! Chase it! Chase it! Chase! Run faster, Stacy! Okay, I don't think the jumping's helping. There we go! Now we're running! I was behind! Wait for me! Wait! Where are you leading me? the beginning of the, the game. Oh no, is the fox the spirit of my dad? I know where it's leading me. The three obsidian stones by the lake.
I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> um, I'm interested if you guys get the game, and I encourage you to do so and support um, the game maker, the developer, David. Uh, tell me how many of the little dots you got. I think that was related to how many characters you had to write with, I think. Maybe I'm missing that, but... I mean, if that's not the case, I'm reading a lot into this, but it's almost as if, like, the more moments that you had along the way, the more you're able to call on them after someone that you love is gone. And... Yeah, that was just a really beautiful experience. I'm glad I played it all the way through. It's the same as I did with Abzu. It's just, it's one of those games that I really wanted to play all the way through. I'm running out of space again. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Would you like to submit your statement to the first tree to an online moderated database? It may appear randomly to other players. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay, well, yeah, get the game and uh, let me know what, what you guys' experience is like, but I'm gonna go. Uh, that was really amazing. Thank you guys for sharing this with me. And I'll definitely be down in the comments talking about what you thought about this game. Let me know. Uh, and a big thank you again to David for giving it to me early. Uh, I will see you guys later. But until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.